What's up, guys? Dominic Abassi here for the British Columbia Football Conference, as always, as we get set for the final week of the regular season. First off, let's start with a big congratulations to all of the players in the league on all sides of the ball that were selected as conference all-stars. Uh, some really fantastic individual performances being recognized uh, for this season. And again, congratulations to everyone that was picked. And for those that weren't picked, a special message to you if you feel like maybe you were slighted or you should have been an all-star and made the list in a particular position and you didn't use it as fuel use it to drive your performance through the playoffs through this week 10 game if you're not going to be in the playoffs and uh, certainly through your off-season training make sure that it's used as a positive fuel as opposed to maybe dwelling on it from a negative mindset and you know just know that it's not easy to pick these all-stars, the people doing it. It's hard for them to come to consensus. And the people who pick them, they don't watch every single game. There's no practicable way they could watch all of the game film. And they don't know about the intangibles, maybe how hard a guy works in practice, how great of a teammate and a leader he is, um, you know, on, on, off, on and off the field. So there are so many um, sort of flaws, I guess, inherent with the all-star process, not just for the BCFC in any league, NFL all the way up. Uh, so don't let that be, be sort of the uh, be-all, end-all uh, would be my kind of advice uh, on that. Now, week 10, what is left to decide in the BCFC? We know the Rams are your first place team. We know the West Shore Rebels are your second place team. We know Okanagan and BI will be in the playoffs, but we don't know what the first round playoff matchups are going to be. And we don't know who will finish third and who will finish fourth. If the Okanagan Sun get a win or a tie, or if the BI Raiders lose this weekend, the Sun will finish in third place but if the sun do not get a tie or a victory and the raiders win their game they will finish in third place in the regular season that sets up a fantastic matchup by the way uh, the all-island rivalry in the semi-final in the 2-3 game and you have to ask yourself do the okanagan sun really want to finish in third place and the reason why is they'll travel to the island uh, and play in west shore on sunday if they were to finish third, they will have to go home, turn around, and come straight back to the West Shore for another game against the Rebels in their home park on Saturday. So two games, two road trips like that in a week, um, that is very, very challenging for a team. So you have to ask yourself, who really wants to finish where as we head into this week 10? The matchups that we have, Saturday, two games, one on Sunday, one o'clock kickoff in Nanaimo. The Valley Huskers will visit the Vancouver Island Raiders again. We just talked about what's at stake for that game. 5 p.m. kickoff in Langley on Saturday night. The Rams hosting the Kamloops Broncos. Now there is the potential of some history to be made in that game. Rams running back Andrew Pokernick, the shoe-in for me to be the MVP on the offensive side of the ball this season in the BCFC. He needs one rushing touchdown to break and set a new single season record for rushing touchdowns in the BCFC. He needs one to uh, break the record. He's currently tied with 20 with uh, the great Andrew Harris. The regular season wraps up on Sunday. West Shore hosting Okanagan. One o'clock kickoff at West Hill Stadium for that game. You know what to do. If you want to watch any of the action, you can't make it out to the parks. BCFCTV.com is the place to be. Be sure to follow the BC Football Conference on all their social media channels. And also keep checking the website. Tons of fantastic content going up all the time. For the BCFC, I'm Dominic Abassi.